you welcome to the automated search for buildings that are completely or partly outside any land parcel with AutoCAD Map 3D exercise. I am Vlad Menchenko. I will explain how to easily find all polygons in one feature class that are located completely or partly outside any polygon that belongs to another feature class. For that I will use this map that consists of two layers. One of them is for buildings and another one is for land parcels. But first we'll have a short look upon some conceptual things. In this picture the yellow polygons represent land parcels and the grey polygons are for buildings. Buildings 1, 2 and 3 are located completely inside a land parcel. Building 2 is just in the middle thereof and buildings 1 and 3 touch a boundary of this parcel with their own boundaries. But buildings 4, 5 and 6 are located in some uncommon way, therefore they add the uncertainty to our map. We can draw different hypotheses why they are located in some strange way. For instance, we can presuppose that they are the example of errors on our map, but it is not excluded that our map is completely free of any errors, because we don't know. We can also assume that these buildings are related to some legal issues, for instance, building 4 might be illegally constructed with no right for land ownership. Buildings 5 and 6 intersect the parcel boundaries. Building 5 might be illegally extended beyond the land parcel. Building 6 is partly located in one land parcel and partly in another one. So it might be a case of encroachment. Uh, so it is very important to investigate all these situations and we will leave this job to other people but anyway to begin such an investigation it is necessary to detect all such cases on our map this is what we will do in this exercise and we will divide our job in two parts in the first part we will find all buildings that are located like buildings 5 and 6 that is all buildings intersecting the parcel boundaries we'll turn the both layers off and then we'll click the parcels layer in the task pane and click the table button in the data table window we'll click this arrow near the options button and we'll click the select all command We'll click the Extract Feature Geometry button on the ribbon. Remember that we are in the Planning and Analysis workspace. We'll close the Data Table window. Thus we have converted all features in this feature class to M polygons. We'll zoom our map a little bit out. And now we'll select all these M polygons and on the home tab on the ribbon we'll expand the modify panel and click the explode button so we have received polyline objects that present parcel boundaries and now we'll convert them to a new feature class for that we'll click the output tab on the ribbon and click the ssdf button in the export location window we'll open a folder where we want to save our new feature class and we'll enter a name for this class for instance boundaries and click OK and we'll click OK in the export window 
thus we have created a new feature class we don't need these polylines anymore so we'll select all the polyline objects and click the delete key and now we'll add the new feature class to our map for that we'll click the data button in the task pane and the connect to data command we'll click add sdf connection in the data connect window click this button and then we'll navigate to our new feature class select it and click open and we'll click the connect button and the add to map button and close the data connect window and now we see these polyline features we'll turn the buildings layer on and now we'll find all places where the buildings intersect the parcel boundaries for that we'll use the overlay analysis functionality of AutoCAD Map 3D. It is very powerful, interesting, useful, and efficient. We'll click the Analyze tab on the ribbon and click the Feature Overlay button. In the Overlay Analysis window, we'll select the new feature class for the source and we'll click OK. And for the overlay, we'll select the Buildings feature class. For the type of analysis, we'll select Intersect. And it means that the program will generate a new feature class with those and only those parts of parcel boundaries where they overlap the buildings. So this is the scheme of this analysis. And we'll click the Finish button in the Overlay Analysis window. Thus, the program has created a new feature class and added it to our map as a new layer. We'll select this layer in task pane, but it, its features are not visible. And we'll assign a new style for this layer. For that, we'll click the style button in the task pane. In the style editor window, we'll scroll down to the line style section and click this button in the style column. In the style line window, we'll select some brighter color. And for the line thickness, we'll select expression and enter 0.1 in the create modify expressions window and click OK and we'll click apply and close and we'll close the style editor window and now we see that these cases of the intersections between features in two different feature classes are now brightly and clearly stressed on our map and we can investigate all this case individually. For that we'll click the table button in the task pane and we'll make sure that we have pressed the auto zoom button in the data table window. We'll select any record in the data table and the program will automatically zoom our map to this intersection and therefore we clearly see this building that increases the uncertainty in our map so we have fulfilled the first part of this exercise and now we'll find all buildings located like building 4 We'll zoom our map to the full extent and then we'll turn the two new layers off 
and we'll turn the parcels layer on. We'll zoom our map a little bit out. And now we'll create a new feature class. For that we'll click the create tab on the ribbon and click the SDF button. We'll open a folder where we want to save this new feature class and accept its default name and click save. And we'll click OK in the specify coordinate system window. And in the schema editor window and we'll click yes so our new feature class has been added to our map as a new layer we'll select in the task plane right click go to the create group of commands and click the new polygon feature command and we'll draw a large polygon that must cover all features in the both buildings and parcels feature classes. We'll close it and click enter and click enter again. We'll right click, go to the draw other drop of commands and click the send to back command and we'll close the data table window. And now we'll create a new large polygon with the same outer boundaries but with holes where the land parcels are. For that we'll click the analyze tab on the ribbon and again we'll click the feature overlay button. In the overlay analysis window we'll select this new feature class for the source and we'll click OK and we'll select the parcels feature class for the overlay, for the type we'll select arrays and so it means that the program will generate a new feature class with this large polygon but it will have uh, holes where features of the parcels layer are and we'll click the finish button in the overlay analysis window so the new feature class has been added to our map. We'll turn the feature class one layer off and we'll do the same with the parcels layer. And now this is what we need. And logically all buildings that are inside this polygon but completely outside the holes in this polygon are located completely outside any land parcel on our map. And now we'll filter all such buildings. For that we'll click the buildings layer in the task pane, then we'll right click and we'll click the query to filter data command. In the create query window we'll click the locate on map button and we'll select inside polygon and now we'll click the S key and we'll select this large polygon with holes and we'll click OK in the create query window and now only those buildings that are located inside this polygon but completely outside the holes are visible. We'll click the table button and now only 20 features are now presented in this table. And again we can study each of these cases individually. For that it's enough to click a record in this table. And so we have completely performed our task and you see how it is easy in AutoCAD Map 3D. Thank you for your attention.